Okay? Now, um, to go ahead and solve a problem like this, the main important thing, ladies and gentlemen, before we can even apply the one-to-one -one property, and we've talked about applying the one-to-one -one property, right? Here's the one-to-one -one property. The one-to-one -one property, the one-to-one -one property only works is when you have an exponent equal to another exponent. Only works when an exponent is equal to another exponent. So, no, no, let's just stop right there. So, what we can do here, the first thing we have to do is, what is the only exponent? Does anybody want to label what the exponent is? Zero. What's the exponent? Zero. Three x. x. Three x is the power. What is the exponent? Ten. 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 Ten is the base. The exponent, ladies and gentlemen, encompasses a base and a power. Just remember that. Okay? Ashley, please. The exponent encompasses the base and the power. So what we need to do, Jazeel, is we need to solve for this power. We need to solve, I'm sorry, for this exponent. Okay? So what we're going to do is you're going to add 1. So you're going to undo what's happening. So you can see my exponent is being add, subtracted by 1, and it's being multiplied by 2. You guys should know how to solve for these. You add 1, then I have 2 to the 10, 3x equals 14, then I divide by 2. So I have 10 to the 3x equals 7. So you guys see what I did? This was anything crazy. You guys, did, you guys did this stuff at the beginning of the year, right? All you're doing is undoing what's happening to the exponent. Well, now, here's the problem. We've used the one-to-one -one property before. Ah, I forgot to go over this. I'll have to go over this again. So we've used the one-to-one -one property before. But the problem is, can I rewrite 10 and 7? Can I write a number that's raised to a power to give me 10 and give me 7? No, right? So what we're going to have to use is we're going to have to use taking the log, which I forgot to go over for this, so I'll just show you, and then I'll explain it a little bit more in detail. So what we're going to have to do is you're going to have to take the log of both sides. Now, what I mean by taking the log is you're going to take the log of the same base as what the of the base of the exponent. And again, guys, I'll explain this in a little bit more detail after I finish the problem. But what you're going to do is you're going to take the log of both sides. All right. Now, the reason why we take the log of both sides is, ladies and gentlemen, if I wanted to solve for the 3x, you guys, you guys recognize that the x is a power, right? We haven't learned how to, the only way we learned how to get to solve for that x was to use the one-to-one -one property, which eliminated the bases. So what we could also do, another way to eliminate the base, is to take the log of the same base as what the base of your exponent is. Then what happens is that just leaves you with 3x equals log base 10 of 7. Now, to solve for x, I undo multiplying by 3, and I divide by 3. So well, how do you get the answer? Well, the answer lies in your calculator. Now, on the scientific version of your phone, you guys also have this as well that you can practice um, for today. But basically, what you're going to do is, since it's log base 10, that's what your calculator and phone do. So you do log of 7, or you might have to type 7 log first. So you do log of 7. Then you divide it by 3. And I'm going to round my answer to approximately 0.28. Huh? That's what I mean. Yeah, it means approximate. It means I'm rounding my answer. 